everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Cranberry Christmas Stocking, which you can see probably easier in the photo here. There's also uh, many other photos on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, but I have my sample one here. And this is the Cranberry Christmas Stocking. It is a large stocking, it's about 24 inches by eight inches when it's laid flat and uh, it's made with a super bulky weight yarn so it does work up fairly quickly despite its size but it is super plush and definitely a stocking that's going to make a statement at Christmas time. It is an easy stocking to work it's worked from the toe up again I'm working it using a super bulky weight yarn I'll be using two colors of this Woolies Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarn. And uh, each of these balls has about 100 yards in it. So you're going to need two balls of uh, one color. I've used two of the Cranberry for the body of my stocking. And then only one ball, which is my Fisherman White color uh, here for the toe, heel, and cuff. So you'll need two colors. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors and yarn needle for finishing off. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Feel free to subscribe, give this th video a thumbs up, and uh, I love to hear about your crochet projects. So if you tag me on social media as you're sharing them, uh, I would love to, uh, uh, to see them and uh, celebrate with you as you finish your projects. So uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and we'll get started making this cranberry Christmas stocking. Now we're going to begin at the toe of our sock so taking your contrasting color uh, which in my case is the white you're going to make a slip knot and then chain two. For round one of your stocking toe you're going to work five single crochet stitches into that second chain from your hook. So five single crochets all into that same stitch. When you come to your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. After you're finished working your stocking, if you need to, you can use this small tail to kind of close uh, that opening a little bit more if you need to. For round two, do not turn your work. Chain one into that first single crochet and into each single crochet all the way around. Work two single crochet stitches. So you're just working them both into the same stitch, working two stitches into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of this round you should have a total of 10 single crochet stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round three, chain one single crochet into that first stitch and work two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the next. Repeat. At the end of this round you'll have a total of 15 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round four, single crochet into that first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and work two single crochets into the next. Repeat that 
one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch in that first stitch. And at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 20 stitches. For round five, chain one, single crochet into each of the first three stitches. and work two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and two stitches, single crochet stitches into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, and uh, at the end of this round you'll have a total of 25 stitches, and you can join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. For rounds seven and eight, so you've joined with a slip stitch at the end of round six. Now for round seven and eight, you're going to chain one and simply work one single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. So work two more rounds of single crochet stitches at the end of each round, you're joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch chaining one and continuing. At the end of round eight we are going to switch over to our color B. So I'm going to work until uh, the end of round eight here and then show you how I like to change color in the middle of a project. So meet me back here at the end of round eight. I am here at the end of round eight. At the end of round eight, you'll want to switch over to your second color. So into that last stitch, insert your hook, yarn over with your color A and draw up a loop. You can then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and simply pull through. Tighten up those two little tails Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, now using your color B. Chain one, and at this point, you can fasten off that color A. And for my next round, I'm going to work over top of these tails to tuck them in a little bit. We're now going to work the stocking foot. So this is what your work from the beginning looks like. We're now going to work the foot of our sock and we're going to do so by working round one, slip stitch into that first stitch. So you've chained one, slip stitch into that first stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Slip stitch into the next stitch half double crochet into your next. Continue to repeat that slip stitch into your next stitch, half double crochet into your next. Repeat that all the way around to your first stitch.
At the end of round one for your foot, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, which was a slip stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to repeat that round one beginning with our first stitch in the top of that half double crochet stitch. So slip stitch into the half double crochet and then half double crochet into your next slip stitch. So you're simply repeating uh, the round one slip stitch into the next half double crochet and half double crochet into your next slip stitch. Continue to repeat that all the way around joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chaining one and turning your work. You're going to repeat that round one for a total of 13 more rounds. So this is round two through to 14. You're simply going to repeat that round one joining with a slip stitch, chaining one, and turning at the end of each round. Once you have done that, uh, you will have finished the foot of your stocking and you're going to meet me back here and we'll begin to work the heel. Once you have worked to the end of round 14, You'll have your stocking that looks like this, your toe, and have worked up to this point. At the end of round 14, in the final stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. So to do that, yarn over with your color B, insert your hook into your final stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You can then drop your color B, pick up your color A, place it on your hook, Pull through, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and chain one. You can then fasten off that color B. I'm leaving a little bit of a tail that I'm going to work over in a moment. We're now ready to begin working on the heel of our Christmas stocking. And our heel is worked in rows. We'll begin by working a chain one and then single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So there's the same stitches joining and then into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to, that brings you to the end of your row one. You're going to turn your work, leaving the remaining stitches unworked. For row two, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch uh, which is the same stitch down below as joining uh, in the row of your sock. Actually just down in here into the half double crochet. So single crochet into that next stitch on your stockings on the foot. Pull it a little bit tighter if you have to and then slip stitch into the next stitch. So you've worked a slip stitch two single crochets and one more slip stitch. You can then turn your work. For row three, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into that next single crochet stitch, single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One is a single crochet and one is a slip stitch. Then single crochet into the next stitch down on the foot of your stocking. So this is the same stitch as joining. Single crochet into that stitch. 
and slip stitch into your next stitch. Turn your work. For row four, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch, single crochet into each of the next three stitches, single crochet into the next stitch down on the foot of your sock so this is the same stitch as joining and as the uh, heel gets a little bit taller you'll just need to pull that stitch a little bit tighter and then slip stitch into your next stitch turn your work for row five skip the first slip stitch slip stitch into your next stitch single crochet into each of the next four stitches single crochet into the next stitch which is on the foot of your sock and slip stitch into your next stitch that brings you to the end of row five. For row six, you've turned your work. Skip that first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, single crochet into each of the next five stitches, And then single crochet into the next stitch that's down on your stocking foot, the same one as joining, and slip stitch into the next stitch. You should be seeing some really nice heel shaping coming through now. Turn your work. For row seven, skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch single crochet into each of the next six stitches single crochet into the next stitch down on your foot and slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work For row eight, skip the slip stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, single crochet into the next stitch down on your foot and slip stitch into the next stitch. We have one more row to work. Turn your work. For row nine, skip that first slip stitch, slip stitch into your next stitch, single crochet into each of the next eight stitches, single crochet into the next stitch on your foot and then slip stitch into the next stitch this time switching back to your color B so insert your hook and place your color B on your hook and pull it through you can then chain one using your color B After you've chained one, you're going to turn your work. Now working across your heel, 
we're going to continue working our pattern. So into our first stitch here, we're going to work a slip stitch. So now we're working on the body of our sock. So slip stitch into that first stitch, half double crochet into the next. Slip stitch into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next. We're going to continue to repeat that all the way across. I'm just working over top of my tails to make it easier at the end so I don't have to weave them in. Slip stitch, half double crochet all the way across. When you come to the foot of your sock, you're going to uh, continue to work the pattern all the way around. So we're going to jump down now into this slip stitch here. So we've worked a slip stitch up here, slip and down into the slip stitch here, you're going to work a half double crochet. You just want to make sure that you're working the opposite stitch of the stitch that's down below. Continue working your slip stitch and half double crochet stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches once again, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you come all the way around, you'll work your final half double crochet stitch into your final stitch. And then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a total of 21 more rounds of, um, of that pattern. So you've worked your final half double crochet, turned your work, now into this first half double crochet slip stitch. So we're, we are repeating that round one half double crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next, and so forth. Repeat that round one uh, until you have a total of 22 rounds, so 21 more times. That's going to form the body of your sock and then meet me back here and we will work the cuff of our Christmas stocking. Once you have worked your 22 rounds uh, for your stocking body, you'll have a piece that looks like this. We're going to now start working our cuff. So in our final stitch here, we want to switch back to our color A. Join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Chain one and do not turn your work. You can fasten off your color B. For round one of the stocking cuff, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. Uh, once we come back to our first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. For round two of your cuff, chain one, there's no need to turn your work. Now working in the front loop only, so when looking at the top of your stitch, you have this loop that's closest to you and one that's further away. The front loop only is the one that's closest to you. So working under that front loop only, single crochet into your first stitch, followed by a triple stitch into your sec next stitch. Repeat that single crochet in the front loop only in your first next stitch and triple into your next. 
Repeat that all the way around. You should end with a triple stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of your round two, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Now you should start to see the texture of your cuff coming through on the inside of your stocking. For round three, you're going to be working under both loops once again. You're going to begin by chaining two, and this does not count as a stitch. Triple into your first single crochet stitch and single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that triple into your next single crochet and single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of that triple stitch. For round four, chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and work one triple into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, single crochet into your next stitch, and triple into your next. You should be noticing now on the other side of your cuff, you're going to have these alternating, uh, almost faux popcorn stitches coming out on the inside. So continue that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round four, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and chain two. For round five, you'll begin by working one triple stitch into that first stitch, followed by a single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, triple stitch into your next stitch, followed by a single crochet into your next. Join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. Chain one and then at the end of round five here you can turn your work. At the end of your round five join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Then chain one and turn your work For this final round six, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you can join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and then fasten off. I'm just going to keep working here because it's going to go fairly quick. all the way around
So I just have a few stitches left here. And then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and fasten off. You can then go ahead and weave in any ends. Your stocking, stocking cuff is going to be right side out. So at this time, you're just going to fold it down over top of your stocking, just like so. I'm just gonna pull back a little bit so you can see it a little bit better there. Now for the hanger on your sock, find the back of your sock and then just at the back of your sock right before the new color uh, changes or joins join some yarn with a slip stitch and you're going to want it to be fairly secure so I would actually almost knot it there under my slip stitch because these stockings are fairly heavy and you don't want them to fall out and then you can go back and you can tuck in that end. You're then going to simply make a chain stitch and for a uh, foundation chain or a chain and for mine I chained 10 stitches and then going back down into that first stitch join once again with a slip stitch fasten off and again you may wish to secure it. You can then take your yarn needle and go back and uh, tuck in any ends that are sticking out there but other than that your cranberry Christmas stocking is complete. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. There are some other Christmas stockings here on this channel uh, if you are interested. Other than that, it is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.